Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another week in my life. In today's video, we're gonna switch things up and do a QA. and a I've been doing a lot of cinematics lately and I just wanna talk every once in a while because I am human and I like switching things up. Plus, I think you guys can connect more doing these videos. But recently on my Instagram story, I just asked you guys to put down some questions and thank you to everyone that did submit a question. It means a lot to me. And we're just gonna tackle some of those throughout the day but I just pulled up to the office and I just wanted to give you guys a nice update. We just restocked our Choose Growth Over Company every single time flags and we have a limited quantity available, so don't miss out. And then secondly, we are dropping new tees this Friday. It's gonna be three different colorways, three different designs, and these are easily my favorite tees yet. I'm wearing the black one right now. We're also dropping a brown and a shadow color. And since we are in the office, we're gonna cover the category of questions for running a brand. The first question of the day is, do you have any new merch or programs coming soon? Like I said, we are dropping this Friday at 9 a.m. MST for merch. And as far as programs go, I've been working on a 12 week cutting guide and I wanted to give you guys this program by the end of May, but as a team, we decided to hold off because we just wanna perfect it and give you as much as we possibly can in a 12 week guide. But I promise you guys, I will get this program to you by the start of summer. I know a lot of you guys want to cut, and this is something that you're not going to want to miss out on. I'm going to show you exactly what I eat on a daily basis and exactly how I train. It's a very advanced guide, but I'm going to give you all the alternate movements that you would need to get to the level I'm at today. So stay tuned. The second question is, what is the biggest risk you had to deal with when you were creating ice and your mentality? I would say cutting out our plan B's. And there was a lot of times where we were not in a good position. We quit our jobs on the spot. We went 30K in debt to start our brand. And it was just a scary time because no one taught us anything. We literally had to figure it out all on our own. And I genuinely believe that's why it's been working out because we put ourselves in that position. And it built us, it built like the ultimate mentality because no matter how many times we failed, we would get back up, learn from it, and keep going. How did you start a clothing brand? I wanna do the same. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. A lot of you guys know me from the Challenge 75 Heart. And before I even started that challenge, I told my business partner, Taylor, and he was my roommate at this time, I'm gonna be doing this challenge and I'll be posting 75 videos for 75 days straight, and I will blow up from it. I had it instilled in my brain. And I said, by the time I blow up, you need to know exactly how to run a back end of a store. And that's how it worked out. I think having the willingness to separate yourself, to elevate yourself, and staying on the weekends to learn specific skills was the reason that it worked out for us. That's what a top set looks like.